Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mayank, a Google certified Android app developer and uh, today I'm going to talk about WebView. So let's get started. What is WebView? The WebView in Android enables you to show the web browser in your activity. The web view allows you to display web pages as a part of your activity layout. It does not include any features of fully developed web browser such as navigation controls or an address bar. All that web view does by default is show a web page. The web page can be loaded from the same application or URL. Now why we use web view? If you want to deliver a web application or just a web page as a part of your client application, you can do it using WebView. WebView is helpful when you want to provide information in your app that you might need to update such as an end user agreement or a user guide. Okay, so now if you want to use WebView in your application, so first of all, you need to give internet permission in your manifest file. Open Android manifest file and uh, we are going to give users permission and internet. Okay, so we have given the permission for internet and now we will go to layout file, whatever you have. I'm having activity main.xml. So I will create a tag for web view, match parent and match parent, that's it. And uh, giving it ID. Okay, now go to your Java file. I'm going into main activity, and here, first of all, I will take web view. Web view, and I will set web view client first of all. here and uh, to load any url we will use load url method webview dot load url and uh, i am giving my own website name https column www dot android breakdown dot com now we will see how this webview looks like on a device it is a web view it is currently loading our url and uh, here it is it is exactly like a website uh, not a big difference now comes to second thing where we don't want to load any kind of url we just want to load our local html tags so to do that let me comment these line first and uh, create a un coded html equals to and uh, creating html tag closing it then body and uh, close the body and i'm writing hello web view got it now we will convert into in coded html to do that we will use base 64 dot encode to string uncoded dot get bytes comma base 64 dot no padding that's it so we need to encode html tags of course to to load in web view so web view dot load data and we will give encoded html this one and uh, then comma let me type the type of the data slash html text slash html and then it is in base64 so we will uh, type base64 in third parameter and uh, now we will run this So here we have hello web view text from our local string variable. We are not loading any URL or something. So let me tell you a few more different things in web view. For example, 
we can remove this web view tag in our XML file and also this find you by ID and create a web view from Java code like this web view equals to new web view and uh, application context that's it so we can directly set this web view as a set content view did you get it let me run it and look at the results we can use this kind of approach if uh, uh, we have a complete activity as a web view so we don't need to create a web view tag in our xml now uh, i don't want to miss out a very important thing here that sometimes uh, when you set any kind of url or your local uh, coded html tags in a web view when you load into web view then what happens sometimes like uh, if there is a hyperlink and if you click on that it will open in a browser not in a web view it happens sometimes so to deal with it first of all create a web view client class for example public class custom browser extends web view client okay and uh, we will override the url loading method should override url loading uh, convert it into a string so now we will have a view here which is web view view dot load url and we will give this request which will come when user clicks on a, a hyperlink or something else we will also return true here and now we will set web view client new custom browser this class we have uh, given into web view client so now whenever we click any kind of link on your web page it will come in this method and it will load inside the web view it will not take you out of the application to any different kind of browser so that's it for today thanks for watching bye bye and yeah don't forget to join our channel because i am publishing very richful content there for example something better than web view web view is just a one stage uh, for beginners but if you want to use something smart something uh, more than web view then i will release a video only for pro membership members so if you want to join you can join that invest in education and don't forget to follow me on instagram bye bye